If it is your first time doing wigs, this is the video for you because this is like my second time doing a lace front wig and I am not so good at it, but I made it do what it do. So what you're going to do first is basically braid your hair into plaits and braid it all the way back. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and put on the stocking cap of your color. And I got this stocking cap. It's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone, but it actually fits for uh, my wig when I actually lay it down. So you want to cut the uh, ears, cut your ears so you can uh, have a space for your ears so it won't be covering your ears when you actually put your wig cap on and then after that you want to make sure it's good set in the right place and then once that's done you're going to go ahead and glue it down with the uh got to be glue and i think it's, it's the free spray with that you just glue it down put some glue 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 make sure your edges is covered um, me personally, I don't like the wig caps to be so far up, um, cause I like my wig to actually be like on the same spot of my hairline. And then, so after you like glue it down, just blow dry it so it can actually stick. So what I'm doing here is I'm just blow drying it so that it, uh, lay down and you want to use like, uh, warm to hot heat but i just use warm because hot on the blow dryer be like too hot and i'm just like oh my god real it is too hot okay okay <laughs> and then um after that i got some makeup so your color shade in um uh, foundation and mind y'all this is my first time so just bear with me um, and I just applied the little uh, mask, uh, not mascara, but foundation on my uh, cap. And I'm just applying it. It was a real struggle to get it on there with the brush that I'm using. I don't even know what the brush is called. But I was getting it on there, y'all. I was getting it. And then I said, it's kind of dark. So let me use another type of foundation. And so I got grabbed my other foundation that was from MAC, and I put that one on. That one's a little lighter, as you can see. And to me, it tints better. And so I just apply that all over the uh, wig cap. So when you uh, put the wig down, it can be able to, like, blend uh, as if it was your actual hairline. So I'm applying all the makeup over the wig cap. Then I started to glue it down some more to make sure that the uh, part that I wanted to lay down was actually laid. So when it's time for me to cut it, it'll be sticking. So you would just go ahead and blow dry over it and make sure it's looking good. Cause I was looking crazy, but we getting it right, right. Put a little bit more foundation. Hello, hello. And then I started cutting it, y'all. I was struggling to cut it, mind y'all. I'm beginner, beginner. This is beginner friendly because, but the outcome came out not bad, y'all. I was looking like a hottie. So you go go ahead and cut this part. Cut it, cut it, cut it. And you see how it's lifting up. So it wasn't laid down all the way, but it was laid down enough. So I was trying to cut it. I was having a hard time. Um, if this video was slowed down, you guys would see. But I was really having a hard time. Look, see, I didn't know which way to go from. Look. <laughs> and so I was trying to figure out how to cut everything. And then so I went at it from... I decided to go at it from a different angle and glue it down more because it was lifting up as I was cutting. So you guys want to make sure you uh, lay that glue down, that uh, free spray got to be uh, glue, lay it down. And I was cutting, cutting, cutting. 
And you see how it's lifting right there? That's because I didn't do it enough. And so you got to spray and then you got to put the blow dryer on it because the blow dryer is what's going to help make it stick because of the heat. And so I was just trying to blow dry it all over. And then after that part, I just went in head and started cutting on the opposite side of my head. And you want to make sure your ears are fit to you. So I just went and trimmed it. And it was going really well up until this part. And I was just like, ah. Uh. It was really hard to cut it. Look, hanging in my face, trying to get it. Look, I was like, what is wrong with this thing in my head? <laughs> so then my part, which is kind of like hard for me, I was trying to figure out how to make them a uh, lace melt. Uh, people who really know how to do stuff be having it melted. And so I was trying to figure out, so I was trying to spray a lot to see if it would go invisible. invincible. It did, but... It's just, I don't know. It was kind of harder. Like the other side, like this side was kind of clumpy. And then the other side was really good. Yeah. Excuse my background. People are just watching a football game. <laughs> and so I was just trimming it. And then afterwards... I went in here and tried to uh, trim like the sideburns because you got to make sure all that stuff is good because by the time you put that wig on, whew, and then I don't know what people do when it's time for that back part. I really don't know, but I uh, I go in ahead and I cut the back of um, my cap in the back. It, my first time, it rolled up, so make sure y'all go check it check that part out on what you actually supposed to do because I honestly don't know this is my second time but you guys can see as a beginner beginners looking at a beginner I think would be beneficial because it's like on a lower level if that makes sense but as you gradually keep doing this the better you'll get and so I started talking because I'm on the phone and yeah, it was hot, so I had to turn that off. And then I was trying to do some more trimming because I wanted it to be laid. It wasn't all the way laid, but it was laid. <laughs> and then I also was uh, watching a video to try to figure out what how to lay it. But I think it came out all right, but, you know. So I'm just cutting it. And then I decided that I needed to spray it down some more again. Like this is really a real process. Like if you're willing to stick, stick through the process, stick through it because this is a long process. And you got to make sure the foundation is like the best part because this this foundation this cap is is very essential because it's protecting your edges y'all see my edges i got a lot of baby hairs and so i have to slick them back first and then put all that glue stuff on there that freeze blast spray got to be glue and then so I trimmed the back of it because I don't like that part hanging. I don't know. It sometimes roll up as you go throughout, you know, wearing a wig. But as long as my edges is protected, that's all that really matters. And then after that, I went ahead and I put the wig on. I slapped my uh, baby hairs back with some water. And I'm getting ready to put on the glue, which is the Ghost Bond glue. I think that really, really, really works. It really sticks, lays it down. It's uh, called Ghost Bond Glue. And um, it comes in a white and uh, blue bottle. 
and then I just people do uh three layers but I kind of just like put a lot and I did one layer because I'm still new to this so I was just laying it down with glue apply the glue you want to blow dry it because the blow drying helps melt the glue and as you can see the parts it's melted and then it's that clumpy part and I said no it's no good but I will have to wipe it off and then put more glue and I didn't feel like doing that so I just went ahead and I measured my lace to my head already and then I just went ahead and like smashed it down and um, you have to blow dry it over it to make sure it's really sticking you want it to really stick and then after I did that I went in ahead and I put some water on the brush and I combed my uh, hairs back in the front and then I cut the lace in the middle and um, it was really hard for me to cut the lace I'm sorry y'all can't see like that but I was cutting the lace to the side and you don't want to cut it like straight along you want to kind of cut it like you know, in a, a curvy way because if you cut it straight along, it's like, it's not a real hairline, if that makes sense. And so I was trying my best and I had to um, fit my ear to it. So you're going to have to cut some of that uh, hair off because you got to make sure it's uh, comfortable and shaped to your head. As you can see, I'm cutting it so that it'll fit to my ear. And that piece is cut. And I went in ahead and cut it along and just ripped that bad baby off because I needed my ear to be able to stick out. And that's really important because you don't want to have a wig on and it's covering your ear. You're not going to be comfortable. Like, seriously. So, it fit to my ear and my ears open and now I can wear it com comfortably and then I was just wiping some of the excess off with alcohol alcohol gets that glue off so you gonna need some alcohol because that alcohol really like wipes the glue off
is my finished product of the hair. I try my hardest to lay the baby hairs down and everything. Um, it looks really good. Mind you, I don't have any makeup on. I hate when people do these videos and they always got makeup on. It makes it seem like you're covering up what the stuff really look like. And so I don't have any makeup on, like no makeup on at all. And it looks like I got a weave in. Really natural and I'm loving it. Um, second time doing it. And so I'm really excited. Thank you. Okay, so YouTube, this is the final production of the hair. This is a 22 inch wig unit. It is a 150 density. It is transparent lace. Uh, the hair origin is Brazilian. The texture is Body Wave. And you can check this wig unit out on my site at www.shopalaland.com. You want to look like a patty? Go get this wig unit. It's already pre plucked. And with uh, transparent lace, you don't have to bleach your knots because it's so transparent, but I still bleach my knots. So, yeah. Silky. Got that bounce, got that body. Lush. <laughs> Thank you. And I think I'm done. I think I'm done now. Oh, and again, this is my second time doing a wig, like a whole wig on myself. Look at this, y'all. Second time. So you can do this. You can do this. Have faith. You can do this. Because I have faith. And I did it. So, don't look lavish. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> this gonna get the very best of me.